stayed up way past my bedtime making this uh, simulation. Uh, this video is really just for teachers or anybody who wants to be able to demonstrate harmonics. So I'm assuming you already know how they work. This is to show you how uh, the simulation could help you. So it shows the transverse waves. It shows the waves that build up to make the standing wave. It shows it as a longitudinal wave, as a pressure. So you can see the high and low pressure areas. And you can change it from fixed, open, open, fixed, etc. So if I just hit play here, this is the ninth harmonic for uh, an open fixed. You can see it, um, the component waves, you can see the superposition, and you can see the longitudinal, which is kind of cool, and uh, the pressure. Let's say you want to change the harmonic. Let's make this pause. Uh, and you know, you just go like this, and it's as simple as clicking that, it makes harmonics. It is smart enough to know um, not to make even harmonics for, for fixed open. Let's say you want to change the ends, and one is the left end, and uh, two is the right end. You can do that to make it fixed. Um, if you want to change the amplitude, you can, you can do that. Uh, you can also change the length of the tube. And you can input things like uh, the speed of the wave. By the way, this N here is just part of the simulation, how many lines we want to use uh, to visualize the um, longitudinal wave. It does the basic calculations if you're trying to make a quiz or something, like uh, if you give it, say, the speed of the wave and the length of the tube and ask for a particular harmonic, it'll spit out here what the period, uh, angular frequency if you want that, um, etc. Don't worry about this stuff. I just use that um, to decide how to, to draw it so I know which case I'm looking at. Some things that may be useful, you can turn on and off the uh, components if you don't want to show that. You might even want to, when it says show transverse wave, uh, you might want to turn that off, say, if you want to make this for a quiz, and then you could just use your uh, screen clipping tool here and drop that into a quiz if you want to have it with numbers, got amplitudes, got uh, position. Uh, I just messed around and made a higher harmonic. You might want to show that. It's easier to show. Now, if you look at the longitudinal, you can kind of see it, but uh, if you've got that many wavelengths in there, you might actually want to change the, uh, the end here to a higher amount so you can visualize it a little better. And, of course, notice what happens if you open one end. Apparently nothing. Actually, nothing's exactly what should happen. It's fixed open. This is an even harmonic. So let's say you make that like 19th. Now you play it. You can have a chance of seeing it with 100 lines. And it's kind of fun to look at the pressure. So you can see if it's an open end, you're going to get a pressure that doesn't change. If it's a fixed end, it's going to oscillate back and forth between peak pressure, minus peak pressure. I might go back and make a student video for this, but I'll definitely use this in class tomorrow. thought other people might find it useful. I will link this in the description, or you can go to mrhosey.com slash desmos, and uh, it'll be simulation number 26.